This is uh, Jim and Justin interview each other for the <laughs> science upcoming album promo. We want to inform you, the viewer, as to our thoughts and feelings on these songs. It's a curtain pullback. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Some sort of Wizard of Oz thing. <laughs> Alcoves and Alleyways. <laughs> the namesake of the album. This album was not originally going to be called Alcoves and Alleyways. It was going to be called Hold On To Your Hats Because We're Going Down. Because We're Going Down. Right. Uh, upon naming the album, a brief amount of discussion, uh, we decided that was too long. The Alcoves and Alleyways was, uh, was a little more catchy for an album name. The oddest part about science is that when we made the determination in the mastering process that we were not going to call the album uh, Hold On To Your Hats Because We're Going Down, I had already in my brain said, maybe we could call it Alcoves and Alleyways. And Jim said almost the exact same moment, what about Alcoves and Alleyways? And I was like, sure. Yeah. Um, that's kind of our, our decision-making process. Uh, a lot of times revolves around, why not? Uh, the song wasn't even called Alcoves and Alleyways. That came way later. What was I think it called? in the... You so in the in the mastering process, you sent me um, the the it was track seven. What do you want to call this song? <laughs> was this was this was the list I had? I had like it was like Julia, and then what do you want to call this song? And then Sweet. Oh, it was uh... and then Catch Fire. And the reason is that I, I rewrote the chorus like nineteen times, yeah. and I'm still not exactly certain. <laughs> We've never played this song live. Never zero times. It was a song we wrote. As we were rec recording it, so um, so I'd sing I'd sing a chorus and we'd go listen to it. I don't know that sounds that does, that's not gonna those those lyrics aren't gonna work. And then we'd go back and rewrite it. <laughs> uh, I remember this one specifically because I, to me the next this song alcoves and alleyways and the next one sweetness like they happened at the same time. I think for the same reason. Uh, the first time I heard Justin give me any part of this song was right after the Sandy Hook Elementary shooting in Connecticut a little while back now and uh, you know that was a really terrible thing that happened and, and it really affected both of us because we're we've both lived out in that region of the world for quite some time and so it was something that was really you know kind of close to us and, as well as I would imagine for a lot of people but you know part of the talking about how we cope with stuff uh, Justin I think wrote part of this in response to that uh, I d so, so it's got a really kind of like uh, heavy feel in that sense to me. Yeah, the timing is really weird. I uh, I don't know if it's a a personal thing. I tend to do more so songwriting in November, the month of November, than any other month. I think uh, that something to be said for the changing of the weather and the shortening of days and the time change. Particularly, any of the heavier songs in the catalog tend to come about like, you know, it's a, a natural coping mechanism when I when I don't necessarily feel tip top is to just pick up my guitar and kind of play songs. And that November, so that Sandy Hook was December and this song that started in November and, and we probably wrapped it up, you know, about a month later. Um, I had a, a, a friend in Olympia that had passed away and uh, and it started it started with, with that, um, you know, those, the culmination of um, bad things happening to good people and um, and, and that, that to me is what a number of these songs are about, um, that sort of unexplained, um, because both in both situations, uh, the Sandy Hook Elementary School and, and a personal friend of mine, um, there, that, that was it. Uh, there's unexplained bad things that happen to good people, and there isn't anything you can r really say. There is no explanation. Um, I think it's human nature to always want explanations or to have answers, and sometimes there just aren't any. And so, for us, uh, music is that outlet, and writing is that outlet. Um, you know, it's it's a lot easier to to cope with things that you don't understand by just kind of getting them off your chest. And for us, that's for Jim, that's probably guitar, and for me, it's probably singing. Hmm. Production-wise, uh, this is the, the the Counting Crows intro ah. referenced earlier. Uh, I, ju I just had an idea for kind of like a arpeggiated little chord thing at the beginning, and after I put it together and listened back, I was like, well, that's that's Long December, or whatever, <laughs> whatever Counting Crows tune that was.
but I liked it enough that I didn't change it, and, and I thought it, it fit. And this is definitely the, you know, although the subject matter is pretty heavy, the, the softest kind of lightest, airy kind of musical sound, I think, on the, on the album. And uh, because of that, you know, I approached it a little bit differently. We uh, were lighter on, on the drums, lighter on the guitar sounds, and uh, I think it's I think it's a really pretty pretty song, pretty song. Uh, even though you know the the feeling behind it is a little heavier, uh, but I think that just drives towards its its kind of emotional strength. For me, if if I can, if we can have a listener uh, identify with how I felt in the moment when the song was written, or or we felt in the moment we were recording the song. Um, that that's that's what it's that's what it's all about. Um, you don't have to necessarily be happy to write a happy song or sad to write a sad song, but if you do have a, a song that's that's emotional and and this song for me definitely is, um, you know, uh, we certainly want people when they're having mo those moments in their life to be able to hear this song and and I think empathy is the word, uh, mm. you know, to to uh, to be able to have something that helps them cope with things that they don't understand. Yeah, this is definitely the closest thing we have to a ballad. We're uh, a which ballad. Is, which is probably why we never play it live. <laughs> There's a saying that uh, all good things end, otherwise they wouldn't end. <laughs> that's not a saying. <laughs> no, no, that's not the saying. I got that wrong. All, all things end badly. Otherwise, they wouldn't end. Is that a saying? I, that, I think that's a saying. I'm not familiar with it. Yeah. <laughs>